Just like pH is a shorthand method of expressing hydronium ion concentration, pOH is a shorthand method of expressing hydroxide ion concentration in a solution. First, we'll go over how to find pOH if we're given the OH minus concentration. pOH is defined as the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. pOH uses the same rules for significant figures as pH. Only digits to the right of the decimal point in a pOH are counted as significant figures. For example, let's say the pOH of a solution is 10.153. The 1 and the 0 in the gray colored 10 are both on the left side of the decimal place, so they are not significant figures. But the green colored 1, along with the 5 and the 3, are all on the right side of the decimal place, so they are significant figures. So a pOH of 10.153 has three significant figures. Here are three examples for you to try. Pause the video at this point and try to fill in the rest of the table for these. Make sure you express your pOH to the correct number of significant figures. Then you can resume the video to check your answers and make any necessary corrections. We'll start with the 0.25 molar kOH. KOH is a strong base, which completely dissociates into 1K plus and 1OH minus ion. The concentration of KOH as a whole is 0.25 molar, and the mole ratio of OH minus to KOH is just 1 to 1. So the concentration of OH minus is also equal to 0.25 molar. So the pOH will be the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, or the negative log of 0.25 which comes out to 0 0.60. This is expressed to two significant figures, the same as the number in the given concentration, 0.25 molar. Now we'll look at the NaOH solution. NaOH is a strong base, which dissociates completely into one Na plus ion and one OH minus ion. The concentration of NaOH as a whole is 1.35 times 10 to the negative 3 molar and the mole ratio of OH- minus to NaOH is just 1 to 1. So the concentration of hydroxide is 1.35 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. And the pOH is the negative log of 1.35 times 10 to the negative 3, which comes out to 2.870. This is expressed as three significant figures, like the given concentration value. Lastly, we'll look at the SRoH2 solution. Strontium hydroxide is a soluble strong base, which completely dissociates into one SR2 plus ion and two OH minus ions. The concentration of SROH2 as a whole is 0.082 molar. The coefficients in the dissociation equation tell us that the mole ratio of hydroxide to SROH2 is 2 to 1. So the concentration of hydroxide is 2 times 0.082, which is 0.164 molar. This is one more significant figure than the 0 0.082, but we'll use this value and save the rounding until the last step. The pOH is the negative log of 0.164, which when rounded to two significant figures comes out to 0.79. We rounded this to two significant figures because the 0 0.082 molar had two significant figures. Now we'll go over how to find the hydroxide ion concentration of a solution if we're given the pOH. To do this, we use the formula concentration of hydroxide is equal to 10 to the negative pOH. 10 to the negative pOH is called the antilog of the negative pOH. When you're doing this calculation, make sure you use the negative of the pOH value rather than the pOH value itself. Here's an example question. We're given that the pOH of a solution of NaOH is 0.815, and we're asked to find the concentration of NaOH as a whole. Pause the video and try this on your own first, then resume the video to check your answer. A good plan for this problem would be to start with the pOH, then convert it to hydroxide ion concentration, and from that find the concentration of NaOH as a whole. We start by finding the hydroxide ion concentration. We use the formula concentration of hydroxide is 10 to the negative pOH, and substitute 0.815 in for pOH. So the concentration of OH- is equal to 10 to the power of negative 0.815, 
which equals 0.153 molar. This has three significant figures, like the given POH, 0.815. The next step is to find the concentration of NaOH as a whole. We write the balanced dissociation equation for NaOH. NaOH dissociates to give one Na plus ion and one OH minus ion. The concentration of OH minus is equal to 0.153 molar, and the mole ratio of NaOH to OH minus is 1 to 1. So the concentration of NaOH as a whole is 0.153 molar, which we can state down here. Here's another example. We're given that the pOH of a solution of strontium hydroxide is 1.319, and we're asked to find the concentration of strontium hydroxide as a whole. Pause the video and try this on your own first, then resume the video and check your answer. Here's a plan. We start with the given pOH, convert it to hydroxide ion concentration, and then to concentration of strontium hydroxide as a whole. To convert pOH to OH minus ion concentration, we use the formula concentration of OH minus is 10 to the negative pOH. We substitute 1.319 in for pOH. So the hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the negative 1.319, which is 0 0.0480 molar. This is three significant figures, like the pOH value of 1.319. Our next step is to find the concentration of SrOH2 as a whole. We start by writing the balanced dissociation equation for strontium hydroxide. 1 SrOH2 produces 1 Sr2 plus ion and 2 hydroxide ions. We'll show on top of the equation that the hydroxide ion concentration is 0 0.0480 molar. The mole ratio of SrOH2 to OH minus is 1 to 2, so the concentration of SrOH2 is 0 0.0480 times 1 over 2, which is equal to 0 0.0240 molar. So the final answer is the concentration of SrOH2 is 0 0.0240 molar.